Welcome back to the channel. We are in the middle of the holiday season and the turkey is on everybody's list, but we want something juicy and delicious and flavorful. We don't want no dry turkey, right? So what I'm gonna do today is show you how to make a turkey brine that is sure to be delicious and anybody can do it. All right, now let's talk about ingredients. The ingredients are gonna be easy to find. It's nothing too complicated, but when you put them all together, it's gonna be really delicious. So the first thing we got here is we got a gallon of water. We got about a full cup of kosher salt, brown sugar, you gotta have that sweet flavor in there. And for your citrus, you wanna get you a, a whole uh, lemon and a whole orange peel. Over here, we got some aromatics, which is really good. We got some fresh rosemary. We got some garlic, which we're gonna need to smash. Over here, we got some bay leaves. I like to throw some onions in there. We got some fresh peppercorn. And of course, we got some thyme. And to bring it all together, we got that steakhouse season. And we got that house of flavor bourbon sauce, which is unbelievable. Again, we're gonna go ahead and put this gallon of water inside there. That's a good way to start. And once you put that gallon of water on the inside, the next step is to go ahead and put the salt. And you wanna allow that salt to dissolve to start getting them flavors in. And then right after the salt, you wanna put that brown sugar in there. And you wanna let that brown sugar really dissolve on the inside and let that heat up a little bit. See, a brine adds a lot of tenderness to the meat. It breaks it down, it adds extreme flavor to it because we're gonna actually let this brine sit at least eight hours, but I suggest overnight, which is what I like to do with it. So once we get this done here, and that salt and that sugar begins to dissolve inside the water and it heats up, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add these orange and these lemon peels, these slices, and we're gonna set that inside as well. All right, now that we got the sugar and the salt is dissolved real nicely, the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and add the citrus flavor. And what I'm gonna start with is taking these oranges, just, Layer them oranges right in there so all that flavor can begin to seep out. And right after the oranges, I'll add the lemons in there as well. This is very easy and very simple. And let me tell you, it smells so good. So now that we got that citrus really good, it's starting to warm up, we want to make our sachet, right? So I'm using a nice little bag here. You can use muslin cloth or cheese cloth or whatever you like, but I'm going to go ahead and take that rosemary. I'm gonna stick it in the bag. I'm gonna add my bay leaves. Now here, here's an important part with the garlic, right? So you could just throw the garlic in, but a better thing to do, you gotta understand this is a spa treatment for your turkey, or you can also use this for a chicken. It allows all the flavors and herbs to absorb in the meat for an extended period of time. So when you roast it, it's much more juicy and it doesn't dry out. So I would suggest with the garlic is that you just take a clove of garlic, you lay it down on the board, and what you wanna do is just Smash it up a little bit, just like this. Now, I suggest at least five, but this is all you gotta do. Just pop that a little bit. That's it, just that simple. So now we wanna do is take those garlic pieces right here, put it in the bag with the aromatics, put it in there just like that. And while that's in there, look at that. We're gonna take those peppercorns, gonna pull those peppercorns inside, and you gotta throw that fresh thyme in there. Now, I didn't have the thyme sprigs here, so you can use dry thyme as well. And just like that, you got all of your aromatics and everything on the inside. You wanna tie you a nice little knot right here. And the purpose of this is just so everything doesn't break apart, but there's enough air space in it where you get in. You just pop that right in there. You wanna allow that to submerge, and you wanna simmer that on medium for about 10, 15 minutes just to get it all in there. And lastly, what I like to do is just throw a little bit of onion in there. Onion doesn't hurt nobody, right? Adds a nice little touch of flavor. Keep that sachet in there like so. All right, now that that's in there, I mean, it's really starting to smell. You got the citrus, you got the herbs, you got the garlic, you got everything in there really good. That, that, that salt is dissolved properly, the brown sugar in there, and it's smelling really good. But you wanna let that sit at least 10 more minutes bring it up to a nice simmer. And then from there, we're gonna chill this down and I'm gonna show you how to put it on a turkey and lock it all in. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can actually let this cool and let it come down to temperature and then put the turkey in there. But I'm gonna express this brine uh, by pouring this out. You wanna take all the brine, pour it out, be careful. That's some hot liquid there. 
Once you get all that poured up, like so, you can take some ice. This is about two quarts of ice. Right here. I'm gonna move that ice around in there. Let most of it dissolve. Keep that satchel in there. Now in this particular brine, I am using turkey legs and I'm using the good old turkey wings. I'm actually not using a full turkey, but you can do the same thing to a full turkey if that's what you want. But I'm a little non-traditional in a sense as I like to get straight to the point, to the flavor, and I don't like a lot of carbon. I actually want this whole turkey wing for myself. And when you see the end result of this on my other video, it's gonna be unbelievable when you see it. But right before you put this in, this is the final step, right before you put your turkey legs, or your fabricated turkey inside of your brine, you wanna season it, at least that's what I do. So I go ahead and season this down real good. I'm using House of Flavor Steakhouse seasoning because I love the salt and the herbs inside of here. It's the perfect, but you can use whatever it is that you like. But for me, I love the color of these herbs and I want it to get inside all the little grooves. Although it'll go in the brine, that's okay. I still want this to be in there a little bit. Remember, the key is flavor. Turkey is not the sexiest thing in the world, but once you do it like this, I'm telling you, it is so good. And the last step to this here is to take a 12 ounce bottle of marinade. If you wanna skip this step, you may. Can't sit, promise you it would taste like this, but the last step to this is you just wanna take this and you wanna make sure you coat the entire portion of that turkey. Now, as mentioned in the ingredients, I'm using the bourbon glaze marinade from House of Flavor, which is unbelievable. I'll make sure that marinade gets on the turkey first to get that flavor. And then we're just gonna take that right here. And we're just gonna let that all come straight in here. Look at that. I'm gonna let this sit right here overnight, at least eight hours, but in my case, I'm gonna let it sit overnight and then we're gonna get to cooking this, but it's gonna add extreme flavor. It's gonna be so delicious. It's gonna be juicy. And this definitely will not be a dry turkey. If you watch this, if you've tried this and you love it, leave a comment below. Don't forget to follow, share, and most importantly, happy holidays. Thank y'all for watching and do not forget to check out my other video with the fall off the bone turkey legs. I'm telling you, this is how you bring it all together. I appreciate you. Like, comment, follow, and share.